I'm going to put on a backing track here and I'm going to show you how I would go about building a blues solo that's easy, it's recognizable, it's memorable, it's not difficult to play, and you're not aimlessly wandering around trying to just, you know, find things in a scale. You're taking something very simple like this lick and the response to it, and you're just changing it slightly to build an entire solo. So let's put on the backing track and let's see how this works. All right, first lick. The response. Now I'm going to let it breathe. I don't want to take up all of the space. Now here's the second time I'm going to play. The second time I'm going to do something a little different. But still that same idea. So the third time I'm going to change it even a little bit more. this. So you see I haven't played anything complicated. I've taken some very simple idea and I've just kind of expanded on it each time that I play it and all of a sudden I've built an entire blues solo out of some really simple idea. So don't think that you have to get super complicated with building a guitar solo. You can take very simple ideas and make something that's recognizable and memorable and tasteful and sounds good in the context of the music and you're not just sitting here wandering around inside of these scales. Pick two or three notes or three or four notes and make those sound good and then just kind of change them up, bend them a little differently or bend a different string or use a hammer on to kind of change it and all of a sudden you know that one simple lick you took all of a sudden becomes something completely different and you filled up an entire solo and you haven't really done that much so I really do hope that you take this into account when you're trying to solo and I hope this helps and as always if you need something just reach out to me and I'll be glad to help you